today we're going to be talking about the gravitational potential. Now, in order to learn what the gravitational potential is, let's first of all revise some of the most important equations in gravitational physics. Okay, so let's get started with the equation for a gravitational force. Now, Newton's law of gravitation says that if we have two bodies, they're going to exert a gravitational force on each other. That gravitational force will be equal to or be proportional to the product of the two masses and it will be inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. The constant of proportionality is g which is 6.67 times 10 to the power of minus 11 which is the gravitational constant. Because this force is attractive uh, we have the convention that uh, we write a minus sign over here. Now gravitational potential energy if you're not quite so sure about this, I have a whole dedicated uh, video or two just on that topic. But the formula for gravitational potential energy, let's just call that GPE in this case, uh, the energy will be minus GMM over R. Now today we're going to be looking at a brand new quantity which is known as the gravitational potential. Now the gravitational potential is the gravitational potential energy per unit mass. So this is really really important. In your formula booklet it's given by the following symbol Vg. Now this is often confused for velocity uh, because it shares this, uh, this, this V symbol. However this is a capital V symbol. You can kind of think of it as similar to potential difference of voltage, however it is the gravitational potential. And once again this is equal to your gravitational potential energy per unit mass. So the formula for it is minus gm over r and uh, it's critical because we can see that it differs from our gravitational potential energy by a um, by a factor of m in fact if we take our formula for gravitational potential energy and if we just uh, divide this by m so for instance if i was to divide this by m oh, let's choose a slightly thinner pen so i divide this by m this is going to get cancelled and I'm going to get my equation for the gravitational potential. Okay, well, let's put this equation into practice. What I'm going to do is I'm going to calculate the gravitational potential on the surface of the Earth. Okay, now here is our surface of the Earth. Let's calculate the gravitational potential on that surface. All we need to do really is substitute into that formula. So our Vg, or the gravitational potential, will be minus G, which is minus 6.67 times 10 to the power of minus 11 times the mass of the Earth, which is equal to 6.0 times 10 to the power of 24. And now we're going to divide by the uh, distance to the surface, which is essentially the radius of the Earth, which is 6,400 kilometers. So 6,400 kilometers, 6,400 times 10 to the power of 3. And if we plug this into a scientific calculator, we're going to get minus 6.3 times 10 to the power of 7 joules per coulomb. Notice that the uh, unit for the gravitational potential is a joule per coulomb. Now that we have calculated the gravitational potential on the surface of the Earth, let us calculate the gravitational potential on, uh, on Mount Everest. Why not? So we're going to use our formula. So once again our gravitational potential is equal to minus gm over r. Now in this case our distance r will be the distance from the top of Mount Everest all the way down to the center of the Earth. So 
Uh, let's start uh, filling in some of the quantities in the equation. Minus g, that will be minus 6.67 times 10 to the power of minus 11. The mass of the Earth is 6.0 times 10 to the power of 24. And now for my distance r, I'm going to be using the radius of the Earth plus the height of Mount Everest. So this will be equal to 6,400 kilometers, so times 10 to the power of 3, plus the height of Mount Everest above the surface, which is 8,848 meters. And um, if we plug this into a scientific calculator, we are going to get minus 6.2 times 10 to the power of 7 joules per kilogram. Okay folks, so hopefully the gravitational potential makes sense. If there are any questions, please feel free to drop a comment. Thank you very much for watching and please consider subscribing.